Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Digimon's Haber Sleuth. I do believe we just need to go in and be like, aha, case, yeah. Let us go in and see case, potentially. Well, have we done all the cases? Oh yeah, now I remember. We are actually going to head into Kowloon and bear, depending on how it goes with Nokia, become a rebel. I'm not eating entrance. Brain got mixed up. Although it would be interesting. Anything new here? We can check out the shop. But as we check out the shop, Brain has been just eternally breaking and breaking. So if this, you, you just want a bunch of patches, this is where you come. Don't know why the official Eden, like, digital shop within Eden would sell Digimon goods. So yeah, it's just like, Digimon, they're the illegal programs. Meanwhile, in Eden, selling Digimon programs. Is it, is it does that imply that, like, a hacker hacked in to the Eden. But last time we got ultimate levels. Huzzah. And as I walk to become a rebel, apparently, Brain has been on a kick and now wants to buy like a, ooh, a soundproofing, like mini thing for the microphone so I can do voice acting, you know, so I can go. Audition for all the parts and never get any of them. Such is life. Hello, Nokia. Hola. Darn it, Neon, you're late again. I knew you'd be late. What would you have done if some creeper had come on to me like before? Huh. No one's coming on to you. What? Uh, hang on, what? Just what do you mean by that? And Nokia, what's a come on? <laughs> oh, right, um, that's when it's this kind of, um, courtship ritual that some idiotic males do when they're after a sexy cutie bod like mine. I'm not sure I quite get that, but it sounds pretty scary. <laughs> yes, it is scary, but if the guy is hot, I might be okay with it. What are you talking about? How did you go get here? <laughs> you go, what are you doing? Ah, what a coincidence running into you like this. What terrific luck I have! It's like this chance encounter was destined to happen. I was just thinking I wanted to talk about you about something too. Nokia is just not a good spokesperson for the rebels already. I understand what you were saying. Good. Zaxxon's solidarity has been more tepid lately. Good, good. A number of us are acting so brashly as to draw interest from other hacker teams. <laughs> and she's just like, yes, good, good, good. You don't, probably don't need to... Just say random things to the man. But don't you think pitting power against power will only result in unneeded chaos? Huh? Someone needs to reunite the hackers of Kowloon and restore Eden to its former state of order. But that someone is not new, Nokia. It's me. What? Hang on! Wait a sec! <laughs> what the hell? What the what? I'm completely lost! But I can do it. Can I, Neon? Eh. Ah, no, I'm totally desperate. This is the pits. I'll just go around Kowloon soliciting any and all hackers I happen to come across. That's not, not, that's not a good idea at all. Then I'll have like a buttload of hackers with me and we'll beat the others at their own game. <laughs> Yeehaw, you know, like what Jimikin was saying. Follow Nikito's footsteps, folks. Follow me. She's gone insane, pretty much. All right, I'm off to get some tamers. Step on raiding the Zaxxon and demon hideouts. The demons broke up, so they don't have anything better to do. And I bet there's some freelance tamers in the Zaxxon form too. Time to roll out. She's gonna get herself murdered. That's probably why she's forcing me to be the designated go around. Ah, uh, yes. Totally. We'll just go around to the hideouts now. There'll be no one at the demons one. Because... Really, why would you even want any ex-demons on your side? 
would be freaking hilarious if Jimmikin somehow became like a lancer of our rebel group, but he's probably been arrested for hijacking the the airwaves, so. All right, time to uh, be did a different group. Sounds like a pretty weird team. I don't have any strong feelings either way about joining, but wonder what my buddy would think. Well, I think you and your friend should both join. Where are they? Uh, probably somewhere around here. Got it. I'm gonna gas them then. Come on. Hehe. <laughs> if this all goes well, I'll get two members in one fell swoop. Okay, buddy. I like the cut of your jib. What say you join us? We're gathering people to form a hacker group. Making a hacker group, huh? That's a big accomplishment. But rather than assume you're just an accomplished, I'll see for myself how strong you are. Lol. All right. Let's annihilate. All right. Could do that, but I'll just use Grand Rock against you. So this is like a mini boss battle. What fun. Kabuterimon. Is gonna be a little annoying. We'll annihilate Brain Man. Hmm, could Atomic Blaster you? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, because you're a vaccine. So it wouldn't do much. Then why would. Hmm, but I thought it said uh, Cybertramon was, like, not able to annihilate you. Oh, well. We'll annihilate you, hopefully. Good, good. And now Kabuterimon. Will be lame and attack the immortal ally like a fool. Of course, you get to have voice lines. Of course, you have voice lines. I, d my Digimon, don't get to have voice lines. At least none that happen all the time. And wow, Kabuteri, like you are Kabuterimon, right? Yes, Kabuterimon. You've, you have no health. That's hilarious to me. We annihilated you. Now join the team. Hmm, so you're more than just talk. Okay, I'll tag along. Nice to meet you, leader. Same to you! Let's get even stronger together! So we actually managed to get one. Hello, you! Yes, you! What are you doing? I'm starting a new hacker team. I just know you're interested, right? A new hacker team? Why? To become closer to Digimon and to stop evil hackers. That's why I'm forming the Rebels. Huh, sounds interesting. Fine, I'll help you. Really? Ally count ding plus one. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Hilarious. A tamer group. Sounds like a pretty weird team. We already went through this. Oh, somewhere around here. Oh, I thought we were... I guess... That does it. Okay, that does it. We shall save and I guess go to Zaxxon. And our ragtag group will s probably fall apart. Because we're just random people. Alright, off to Zaxxon. And it seems like there's one person who wants to talk to us. Let's talk to you. Our leader tends to keep his own company. In fact, I can count the times I've seen him even on one hand. All right, random dude. Trying to recruit hackers, huh? Sounds like what the demons were doing. No way, don't let me in with those jerks. This is completely different. I mean, for starters, that wouldn't like that because of that. And then what else could you do b but this? Jeez, get it? No. Nokia, why do you sound weird? Not one bit. Here, you explain. Our aims are different. Huh, that's actually kind of cool. In that case, maybe I should ask you if you'll take me as an ally, leader. No prob. See, since I gave you such a good explanation, it's pretty easy to understand. I think that's enough members for now. I mean, look at us. We look like a proper team. Heck yeah, Operation Get Members. Great success. Oddly not horrific so far. So far. I did it. This ought to be strong enough. Today marks the formation of Akino's Rebel Alliance. What is this, Star Wars? Now we can protect Digimon from mean old hackers. Everybody follow me. Rebels, form up and move out. But what are the plan? What's the pl- Oh, they're actually following. They're actually following. Wow. <laughs> Where is she going, I wonder? Am I gonna freak out? Yeah, he's like, what's the matter? You look awfully surprised. Did you think I was a ghost again? Nah, the ghost you has weird little particles flying around you. If, if she happens to face off against truly evil hackers, I want you to step in and protect her. 
I cannot bring myself to let her put herself in any real danger in her zeal to protect Digimon. Moreover, I don't want to see Eden claim any more victims. We'll meet again. You are an odd man, Yugo. You are an odd, odd man. Better report back to the office. Well, we found decent enough hackers, I suppose, and they didn't go insane. They're following Nokia. At least one of them has half-decent Digimon of that, like, Brainmon and uh, Kabuterimon, so they might be able to <laughs> make sure that Nokia doesn't die. You're awfully late, aren't you? No, no, it's fine. It's not like there's been any real movement here. What? There's been movement? I knew I had it right. One good turn deserves another. Give me the details on what happened. Nokia has, cr has created a team. Hmm, you should let Nokia do as she wishes. She's not as thoughtless as she looks or seems. Uh, uh, uh. In all my interactions, her response clearly comes after a lot of careful thought. We have no right to stand in her way. I thought Arata's got the right idea about sneaking into Kamishiro. Let's wait on him to form our strategy. <laughs> Things have certainly gotten a bit more exciting, haven't they? You can't really help but get a rush from it. I suppose. Oh. Well, I guess that was the final bit of a chapter, wasn't it? I haven't picked up any cases lately. I better take a few before my boss decides to ream my incorporeal ass. Oh, you guys still owe me for before. How about a nice treat me to a meal? No problem. There's still time. But See, it's like moments like this that make me question the translation all the more. Because the no problem. I have no problem with the no problem. But there's still time. What does that mean? What does there's still time mean in response to... Hey, you owe me. Give me food. And are you sure? What is that? This translation eats my ass. Just ever so slightly sometimes. Just drives me ever so slightly insane. Let's go to the Digilab, make sure the farms are producing diddly D. They're on standby. I am fool. I command thee to investigate. I command... Wait, we can farm expand. I forgot that we have that. It's not like we have anything for you to do, except... Make things. Make all the things. Alright, now that that's there, they can search for more of the hackers. Because I don't really care about doing the property missions. It's like, go here, find thing. And it would be one thing if I could take multiple of the quest thingies. And I could, like, just grab all of them and then go find them one by one. And just have a day of it, but you can't. It's a one by one. You can only take one, then you do it, then you come back, and then you have to go in again. It's bleg. K Cafe, have you heard of the Digipedia? It's an online dictionary site that I run, but something strange is happening. Electric symbol. Hmm. Well, ah, we just get teleported. Nice. Shh, lower your voice. Yes, that's right. I'm the administrator of the Digipedia site, and I'm so important that I don't even have a digi a 3D avatar to talk to you with. I don't want anyone else to hear what I'm about to tell you, so I'll whisper it to you for now. You've heard about Digipedia, right? No. It's the free dictionary that anyone can edit. So it's Wikipedia. So recently there's been someone making a lot of strange edits to the articles. The editors writes everything in Kansai dialect. I've tried to revise the articles, but there's some kind of block in place, and even I, an administrator, can't remove it. Therefore, I was hoping you could find this editor and ask him to remove the block. I can't take care of this. Leave it to me. Wow, you're so reliable. Thanks for taking care of this. Incidentally, the pages the editor has written on are Takeyoki comedy, etc. There aren't that many of them yet, thank goodness. You should probably start by looking at the edit log page. Please, take care of this. I shall now disappear into the Digipedia site. 
Hmm, doesn't seem like there's any problem on the main page. I'll check out some of the problem pages then. Tokiaki is Osaka's soul food. They're small and round, and they look real purdy. It's best when the octopus in the middle's huge. There's also a different type of ta If anybody, like, legitimately types a fucking accent in... Like, it's one thing to use, like, certain words and have different flows, but literally typing different type o takiyaki where ya dunk it in a broth y'all know about that no jump off bridge digi man comedy is the heart of osaka yeah it's right at the core oh it's soul or maybe that's supposed to be co i'm just gonna skip it this is an in kansai dialect it's all pretty subjectively written too Oh, just in Kansai. I wonder if I can connect jump into the edit log page. Because you know. <laughs> Let's do cra- Let's go crazy. Tantomon. Are you here to beat up the editor too, or are you the editor? Why in the world would a Tantomon have that kind of accent? I don't know. Paralysis barrier, aka okay? that thing I'm never gonna use. All right, this place is gonna mess with my head. I can just tell. Let's see, what do we run into? More champion level Digimon. What fun. Hmm. So, probably should get a base Mon in here. How dare you smickety smack my Digimon. Lol. Uh, hmm. Do we have... No, you don't have a... Attack all. So, we'll just annihilate the low health tree man. And we'll grand rock you... You'll be mean. Oh, you'll just heal. LOL! Atom- <laughs> Nah, we want Atomic Blaster, that's kind of a waste. And besides, electri electricity isn't powerful against wood. How dare you live. Punch. With the brass knuckles. Aquamarine! Huzzah! Alright, what response we get? You won't accept my kindness? Or are you saying there's no need for thanks? Uh, the Digiline is the worst translated piece in this entire thing. I'm sorry. But either somebody's, like, editing skills suck... Like, I don't know. It, it just hurts. It hurts to read it sometimes. That conversation... Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Tantamon, I'm here to kick your ass. Uh, what you want there, youngin'? Ah, uh, am I the one who made them their edits on Digipedia? Did you happen to find one of my articles? They're interesting, don't you think? What you're saying there was subjective information in the articles written in Kansai dialect, and Kansai dialect is hard to understand? Well, you must. You've misunderstood then. Kansai dialect's the lingua franco, the whole world. Can we just get to an annihilating this man? This rookie will die. Die, rookie. Rookie. You went after the one that wasn't. Like, affected by you. You fool. Let's see. Then we shall atomic blaster you for fun. Lol. Atomic blaster. Alongside. A kick to the face. 
Look at that pretty smile. Sorry, it's just that what you said really got to me. It ain't just an interesting article. It should be easy to read and understand. Making a dictionary the most important thing is professionalism. Please give it some thought. Shh, keep your voice down. Don't yell out, hey, Mr. Administrator, seriously. If you just if you just have a like dictionary website, why do you want nobody to know it's you who is an administrator of a dictionary website? I do not understand you, lady. But what I wanted to say is that the block on the pages of Kansai Dialect has been removed, and I've been correcting the pages bit by bit. You really did an excellent job, and you have my heartfelt thanks. Indeed, I just received an email from that fellow from Kansai just now. I'll read it to you. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. That there detective opened my eyes about it all. I'd like to thank you kindly for that. Now I'm going to start my own blog promoting Osaka, and I'm feeling pretty excited about it. As you can see, he's quite a weird guy. Yep. Digimon tend to be quite odd. I'm here to sell whatever medals I might just have. 150 yen, sure. Oh, <laughs> apparently I crossed a threshold. Good work finding all these medals. Here's a little token of my appreciation. I'm always here, so you can always bring me medals. Then we shall head down to the agency. Because I don't think... We're at a point where we need to walk around looking for people to get quests. Digipedia? Yeah, of course I know about it. Actually, how do you get oh this long without hearing about it? I'm surprised considering your age. Hmm. Now it looks like we're on to the look around stage. Anything new in the shop? Nah, just normal, but we can sell that aquamarine. Huzzah. And now to walk around, look for quests, cases, quest cases. Anybody with an exclamation point over their head? What? What? Ah, I see that sign caught your attention too. The Super Ultra True Puppet! It's quite an intriguing name, that's for sure. Like the name says, it's an exquisitely crafted doll made to look just like a real human being that you can buy online, or so I hear. Though calling it Super and Ultra True is a tad redundant. They could have gotten the point across without using both terms. It's actually not that expensive. I'm thinking of saving up my money and buying one myself. And it's made by Jorogumo Co. LTD Limited. I guess that's what li Limited... I just, eh, I don't know. I just, <laughs> Corporate lingo. A nice snappy name for a company, although there's a bit of a sketchy vibe to it, too. Anyway, I wonder who the model behind this doll is, too, come to think of it. Hey, a case has come in from a uh, May. My? My at the Inodin Cult Research Club. Drop by the office when you can, alright? Neat. What, did somebody get taken by a Digimon and turned into a doll? I'm gonna split your ad- Ah, uh, yes, the abomination. I'm sorry, but he is an abomination. Alright, living doll, dead person. Have you heard of Super Ultra True Puppets? We plea our tr- we ply our trade there. We ply our trade. The fuck? Detective Kirimi! You have to help us! You have to help us, please! Mai, calm down. I'm sure she'll help us. Tell me, what's going on? What's wrong? Given that this is a business from the cult club, I take it we've got another supernatural case on our hands? Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, probably. I don't think this uh, has anything to do with the occult this time. Oh, then why all the big fuss? Well, there are apparently these dolls being sold on the internet that look just like me and my. I think those dolls are called Super Hyper Ultra Lookalikes or something like that. I just saw that. A Digimon's behind this. 
You must be referring to the Super Ultra True Puppets. I've heard rumors about them. All right, tell me more. These dolls, their faces, their bodies, everything from top to bottom looks just like us. They're so accurate, it's creepy. And to make matters worse, they're being sold real cheap. <laughs> You'd think they could go for at least a little more money on the market. Uh, that's not really the problem here. You get that, right? But it still sucks. It makes me feel like they see me as some kind of cheap piece of junk. I mean, I find it weird, too, that your doll costs several thousand yen more than mine, but... Wait, so you do care about the prices after... I said it's not important. Anyway, these dolls look that look just like us are being bought by otaku all over the place. And when I and when I think about those guys are probably doing with or to them, it just really creeps me out. Huh. You know, this reminds me of another incident. I wonder if this is connected to that. What kind of incident? That's really dicey looking service out there that's called the Perfect Girl Project. You can use it to get a living doll made in the image of your ideal girl and live out the, the life you've always dreamed of. But the police have been hearing about how owners of these dolls are going missing. I was just discussing with Detective Matayoshi. Super Ultra True Puppets and living dolls made of images of people's dream girls. I guess they sound like they could be related, but are you sure there's really a connection? That's the tough part to prove. To make dolls that look so similar to how you two really are, it take have it would it did take having pretty specific data on your bodies. I imagine getting your hands on something like that isn't exactly easy. Actually, I have an idea how they might have managed to pull it off. There's an LDC machine in an arcade in Aki Akihabara that I think might be suspicious. LDC? You don't mean Lustful Dream Chicks, do you? There's certainly not one for subtlety, if that's the case. No, no, not that. I mean Living Doll Club. That's what LDC stands for. Right, it's a machine that scans all of your body and makes a 3D print figure of it. Our data could have somehow leaked out of that, I guess. Hmm, I can definitely... I can... I definitely can't deny the possibility. Then our next step is clear. We need to head straight to Akihabara and gather info on this living doll club machine. That'll be your job, Neon. As for me, I'll see if I can dig up any information regarding the Perfect Girl Project. Reminds me of the... That deep web game. Not an actual game on the deep web, but that uh, game that is essentially... I, I forget what it's called. Where basically you're a research journalist person and you need to dodge the police and a serial killer and various other things as you just try to get the information from the dark web. And uh, one of the quests in the game is a very creepy living doll-like quest line. Huh? What do you want to talk to me? Why? What is it? Living Doll Club. Ah, Living Doll Club is it. For a time there was this huge ad campaign about how it used the latest 3D tech and whatnot. There was a living doll club in the arcade down the way, wasn't there? Why would you put, like, the first one be the actual one? You there! I can tell for everybody language you're frustrated and unhappy! Yeah, I'm talking about you! I know it's out of the blue, but I bet you're into beautiful women, aren't you? I'll have you know that I sell top-notch dolls of the only prettiest girls. Maybe you've heard of them. They're called Super Ultra True Puppets. Ah, I get to kick your ass early, I see. If you want, I can let you have one for cheap. Go ahead, check out this one out for yourself. What the f- Of course. Of course. Granted, this one's an ugly one that was made as an experiment. And it hasn't sold well. Ah, uh, that's my friend. My man. Well, if you're interested in having one of these for yourself now, I got something even better, but it's top secret service. Nobody can know. <laughs> Let me ask you, how are you doing health-wise? What? Eh, it could be better, it could be worse. Great to hear! Really, even if you weren't 100% perfect, you'd still probably be fine. I bet you're bored with how your day-to-day -day life is going. Wouldn't you love to just throw it all away and spend it with the girl of your dreams? Doesn't that just sound fantastic? Because the perfect girl project, I can offer you exactly that. So, this guy is basically out here. Hey, let me link both the things you're looking into together. With the perfect girl project, you can have your ideal girl recreated and sent straight to your room as a living, breathing human being. What? I don't think... I don't think you can create a living, breathing human being, my dude. 
unless they're shoving Digimon into them, which would be even creepier. There's just one condition you have to abide by if you use this service. Just one condition and you can be free from the tedium you lived with up until now. What's that one? <laughs> I bet you're wondering just what that condition actually is. I understand that's a fair question to ask. Tell you what, I'll let you in on that condition free of charge. The one condition is that once your dream girl has been sent to your room, you can never leave it for the rest of your life. Simple, right? What does that even mean? That I can never leave the room? Or the doll, living, breathing doll? Oh, you don't have to worry about survival. <laughs> the girls take care of that for you. So what do you think? Not a bad deal, huh? That's okay. Take all the time you need to think once you know what you want. Just get in touch and I'll make it happen. Mwahaha. Right now, I think I'll just go check out the LDC machine at the arcade. That was fucking weird and horrifying. How's your investigation into the LDC machine coming along? Ah, so you're just about to get started on it, you know? This weird, like, not even pinball, not even claw machine, this teeny tiny little shitty thing is definitely not a scan your whole body and make a 3D printed thing out of it. What the hell? You encounter a suspicious man out by the LDC machine. That's good timing, because I'm detecting a faint digital noise signature close to where you're standing. You better take a close look at the arcade machine. I bet you'll find some clues about how these super ultra true puppets are being made. As usual, this case is starting to take some weird turns, so be ready for anything in there. This is just a very weird situation. Looks like I can connect jump into the LDC unit. That is not a full body scan, create free printed object. Nightmare world. Nightmare world indeed. I got SP, SP capsules. Really? These little bastards are gonna get annihilated. Well, as we annihilate children, I guess I'll quickly talk about the other thing. Cause like, I want to do more voice acting but brain like goes in cycles but yeah one thing that i'm looking into are those that are like oh basically little enclosures for the microphone to absorb and dampen wait is this a repeat what did they did, did they just reuse like, literally reuse the same, like, section? Like, not even just, oh, they reused the same kind of design. No. Did they just reuse the same level data? Because that's what it looked like. Because there was an open box. But it... L I'm very confused. What the? What the? What? What the fuck? <laughs> what is that abomination? What is that nightmare? Kill the nightmare! I take people's datas! Make dolls from it! Lots and lots of dolls! Dolls that steal souls! Then people become dolls! The dolls are lifelike! The people are deathlike! Ah! Who? What are you? Any interference must be punished! Any interference must be punished! What are you? And it's a neutral type kill! Nightmare! Atomic Blaster! Lol. Oh great, you have your own thing. Full Moon Kick again. Damage up indeed, and it's a full of full three! So it's gonna play the Atomic Blaster animation. How much damage is this going to do to this poor sucker? Overall, more than it would have been, but not as much as it uh, felt like it should. Level up. Everybody leveled up. Ooh, they leveled up nicely, too.
What the hell is your deal, nightmare creature? Oh, we just killed it. We, we just killed it? Got mysterious URL. Great, back to Eden. Did, did you just come out of the, out of the LDC machine? You're not with the cops or something, are you? Are you? I'm the cop's secret weapon. Oh, I didn't realize that was who was hitting up. I must not be on the top of things like I used to be. Well, I made a good amount of money as it is. Maybe it's time to call it good enough for now. Don't bother trying to come after me. If there's one thing I'm still good at, it's running away. See you. See you, he says, as he runs away to never be found again. I'm beginning to despise this translation. So, the perpetrators behind this case are probably that salesman you met and a Digimon working together. It's unfortunate he got away, but will live. As we suspected, the, those two probably used the LDC unit to gather up girls' data, then used it to make the Super Ultra True puppets. Then does that mean you guys checked out the LDC unit in Aki Akiba? <laughs> I, my brain wanted to do the full name, Akihabara, but then it's like, no, it was just shortened. That probably means you have a good idea of who's behind our dolls then, right? Don't get too excited. We didn't arrest the guy, but we've got him cornered. I doubt he'll try to pull something like this again anytime soon. And the Digimon. But the question still remains as to what's become of the perfect girl project now. Hmm. At the very least, we know each doll's looks, a lo looks are derived from a real person. The doll's realism is then used to help sway potential candidates to join the project. But what is the perfect girl project even really about in the first place? I think Detective Kirame mentioned that people who are part of it have been disappearing, right? Indeed. Neon actually picked up some rather useful information about what's required of anybody who, do who does join the project. W what is it? Anybody who has their dream girl sent to their room can never leave it, ever. I'm sure I don't need to explain why that's probably a bad deal. Oh, what's this? My, it's a URL left at the scene of the crime. This might come in handy, Neon. I want you to go to that URL and chark it, chark it out. You know, I just became a different monstrosity when I dash me. But don't worry about going too deep inside. We don't know what you'll find in there. It's very possible we could be dealing with something extremely dark and sinister. Dark and sinister? We're talking as grim as the stuff you look, so, <laughs> look at for fun in your club. Maybe even more so. Whatever's on the other side is not going to be pretty by any means. <laughs> and as they chat, I disappear. And we're here. It just sent me here. I don't get a say. You'll be happy if I power up here. Okay, I'll give it my all. Help me out. All right, let's save and I guess talk to people. Not even people, just this guy. Huh? Who are you? A cyber sleuth? <laughs> Man, this place sure is getting crowded now. Is this my room? Yeah, of course it is. Then what's with the dolls? What's this about being inside Eden? <laughs> Stop joking around. This is clearly the real world. How could I be in cyberspace? Who are all these girls around me? They're my dream girls. My dream girls is pure, pristine dolls. Yep, this is all made, made possible thanks to the Perfect Girl Project. You really know your stuff. As promised in exchange for these dolls, I've stayed locked up inside my room. Life of these girls is the best. I couldn't be happier. They take care of everything I need. Really, I don't see any reason to ever leave this place anyway. It's perfect here. But you're in Eden. But this really is inside Eden? <laughs> Cut it out already with that, man. Are you sure you're not the one who's actually dreaming right now? Huh, all right then. So that you're all led you to one of the victims of the Perfect Girl Project. Victim? What do you mean? Remember, to join the project, you have to stay holed up inside your room for the rest of your life. But in reality, he was lured into Eden, and now he's living with those girls there while he's actually unconscious. But then that means, right, the so-called life he's been leading with those girls in cyberspace is just one big lie. The whole thing is just a sad, dream sad scam. Anybody who falls prey for it is unwittingly imprisoning themselves for life inside cyberspace, thinking they've never left the real world at all. That makes sense. It also makes sense if you think about the name of the company behind it, Jorogomo. 
Drogamo is a mythical spider who appears as a beautiful woman to attract men to her waterfall. They'd plunge in for her and die at her hands. Oh, I knew if there was anyone who'd know about this, it'd be you, May. You really know your occult history. Is it... Is it really occult if it's just mythology? It's like, ah, uh, yes, I know about Zeus. Ah, you're... <laughs> ah, you're a part of the occult. No, I just know Greek mythology. Okay, so I get all that. But why go to the trouble of locking victims up in their room and then imprisoning them in cyberspace? If somebody's stuck inside Eden, thinking they're still in the real world and don't log out, then all that's left inside the locked rooms are living bodies, which could be used for any number of things. Like, like what? According to police investigations, the victims' bodies are carried off by a third party and taken overseas to foreign countries. What? What? Why would anyone do that? A lot of the applicants are young and healthy. They're... Who knows how many people around the globe would want such fresh bodies. That's... that's horrible! We don't know for sure if that's anything along those lines. It's just a theory right now. Just thinking about it gives me real goosebumps. Anyway, about that guy your assistant met a little while ago, what do you think has happened to him? It's hard to know for certain. But on the one hand, his body might already be lost forever. But on the other, we might still have a shot at saving him. Might as well see if we can still call out to him. But we should pre be prepared for the worst. Well, this got dark. Hmm? What's this? Please, you need to log out. Is this another one of that kid's pranks? How many times do I have to tell you, buddy? I'm in the real world. I couldn't log out even if I wanted to. You must be pretty clueless if you think this could possibly be inside Eden. <laughs> well, it couldn't hurt to try. I mean, there's no way to work. That's not how it works in the real world. I mean, come on. Huh? What am I... What am I seeing here? I don't get it. Error. Nowhere to log out. Well, that sucker is now dead. He's dead for a world. Oh, their level... The Digimon that can evolve. Woot woot. Let's go Digivolve some Digimon. Digimon, digital monsters. Alright. Let's see. Nope, turn away. Long way 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 away. Nightmare. Long way away. Ah, Drakmon. You are ready to digivolve, but you lack the CAM and hacker's memory. Hmm. How much CAM do you have? 1%. Well, if we just... Well, let's check out the others first. Falcomon can digivolve to two different Digimon. Then let us save to check out what those two options could possibly be. Alright, Falcomon, let's take a look at the bottom one, because it looks weird as shit. Falcomon Digivolve to... An Ostrich Ninja! Ostrich Ninja! <laughs> what the hell? Ostrich Ninja, sure. All right, Falcomon, what's your like other one? Falcomon, Digivolve to Oh Stingmon! Hell yeah! If we get you to a decent, decent, I think actual like things happen. <laughs> of course, you can become Infernmon, Akuamon. And two that require a CAM 100% XVMon and needs to be 100% CAM himself. Alright then. 
Gekkomon, Sukumon, Abomination, Shoutmon, Impmon, Kudamon, Kudamon. How many can you digivolve into? One that is very far away because not enough attack and lacks human spirit of light, but can become the ostrich or the other one. Let's see what the other one is. I already forgot your normal name. Digivolve to... Agamon! Huh. I didn't expect that. Interesting. Angemon, what can you digivolve into? Things that we do not know, but require ABI and an Ankleomon. Ankleomon at 100%. Alrighty then. We will keep Angemon. And I definitely need to, like, do more of the feeding of the bibbidi bop. Let's see. There's only two. So let's see the first one. Drakmon Digivolve 2! Oh yes, Abomination. I forgot about you. No. Just horrifying monstrosity. Drakmon, you can Digivolve into the not as monstrosity thing. Okay. That's badass. That is badass. It actually has eyes. That's actually kind of horrifying. Neat. Very interesting. Once again, that one that looks like it's a complete black square. And let's see. Gonamon is still long away. Sorcerymon is nearby. But. Hmm. Might be alright to go ahead and digivolve you. Wouldn't be bad to get like another base. We're gonna save again. And see about digivolving Sorcerymon. Because why not? Because that one's never going to happen because the stats are just too far away, right? Because it needs attack 65 and speed 85. Mm, you might get the speed, but there's no way that you're getting the attack. So, let's go ahead and digivolve you into this. Sorcerymon, digivolve to... I forgot that you were an ultimate. I just completely forgot. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Don't think anybody else is yet. Yeah, not even you. I mean, I could digivolve you into that or Lilymon. But let's see. How much speed do you have? Huh. A bit more? We can at least look and see, because... I don't think... I I think I already looked it up, but I'm going to look it up again. Is there any point to maxing out levels at, before digivolving? Alright then. Cyber Sleuth. Max level before digivolving. Again, I already know that I... Looked at this. Stats reset when you digivolve, either up or down. The main reason to raise your level before digivolving is for greater ABI gains. You get about one-fourth of your level when you de-evolve, and about one-eighth when you evolve. So at level 99, if you go down, you'll get 25 ABI, and if you go up to level 99, you'll get 12. Hmm. Alright, so since I don't really care about doing ABI that much... I guess I could just save, take a look, and see what that one is for Togemon. So it's just for efficiency's sake. Alright, let's take a look at you. Togemon Digivolve 2? Pumpkinmon. Really? You're an ultimate. Hilarious. Oh yeah, wrong one. 
But yeah, we'll just continue and level up Togemon. You know what? Because I want to... Let's see if we can do that... Bibbidi-bop. The next tournament. Still wish that I could, like, choose... My own to do. Like, if I wanted to do bronze with a starter team. Ready to face the angel? You see when you survive? Or whatever? Heaven's Knuckle! So yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a good match for us. Hmm. Desolation Claw! Atomic Blaster, because why not? X-Heal. Alright, little man. Little baby baby man. I'm gonna bring... Could do Gatomon, but I think he would annihilate. Would he? Let's bring in Gatomon. Desolation Claw for wasting my SP by healing. Blag! Guess I will speed charge. Got him on. Because why not? Lightning Paw. Oh, he's confused. Yay. Punch him. LOL! Crit attack! Oh hey, it's the sunflower monstrosity. Hello, small child. Of course you could go first. Sunflower abomination. Jesus fucking Christ! Kill! How dare you not die. Where Gururumon survive? Kill the small child. Game! This game is cheating, I feel like. I honestly feel sometimes. There's like, oh yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to make it so you lose. Nice game. Very nice. That's what everybody wants in their game. Cheating by the computer. Kill the small puppy for its damnable face. Kill the Beomon for daring to live. Man, we'll just use a normal attack. Kill the Beomon! How dare you survive. Kill the Beomon! How dare. Another how dares. You're panicked and you're still hitting normally. Because, you know, that's fair. These are ultimate Digimon. 
You know, I should have done that against that one from the start. And Pixiemon is already at level 15. Ah, that's a neat team. Here come the cyber police. Once I prove my strength, I'll get that charter. And of course they get to go first. Why was Gautamon not healed up? Oh, because oh, everybody else was like l leveling up and that's why they were getting healed. Ah. Gal Gomon shall die. How dare you live. Lightning paw to your face. And you're confused, fool. Hmm. Let's try and annihilate you. Game! I hate it. I hate when the game just like, uh, you're gonna miss because this is supposed to be harder. This is bullshit and you know it, game. This wouldn't have happened if the game didn't literally cheat. And be like, yeah, you're gonna miss. You know, that thing that never happens anywhere else in the entire goddamn game. The amount of times that I miss anywhere else is just ridiculously small. Lol, you got hit in the face twice because you suck. Get punched in the face by your future. Get slashed in the face by your past. It's just grade A shenanigans game. Oh no. My boss told me that not only do I have to win, I have to advertise for cafe too. Can you believe that guy? Wait, are you the cafe lady? Actually here. Yeah, annihilate the black Gautamon. Oh, you both died through this. I should probably focus one of you out. Game! Game! I hate you! Seriously, uh, once again, I say, not very fun when the game is just like, oh yeah, we're just going to, you know, cheat. Not a fan of arbitrary, oh yeah, this this enemy for this little thing. Yeah, it's gonna be five billion levels higher. But not really, but it will be. Again, I don't freaking miss anywhere as much as I do against these champion people. I've been through years of harsh training. I'll take a hell of a lot to break me. It'll take a hell of a lot. Oh, because they're all electricity. Kill him, because I think he's three times weak. How dare you live. How dare you punch my Togemon. How dare you net my Cybertramon and paralyze him. At least he picked the wrong one to do that to. Mm, you. Hmm. Then we shall destruction cannon your face. Don't give electric shock treatment to my baby. <laughs> He's paralyzed. Nah, the game's just an asshole. Lol, immobilized by recoil. Asshole. I shall heal, because I am scum.
That's not gonna save him. He's fucking dead. Hmm. Oh yeah, because they're viruses. So we shall change Togemon out for Gatomon. Because Gatomon's alive now. Hopefully, the par paralysis will... Oh, it'll just be like, oh yeah, we'll just... Not. Ooh, a three times damage multiplier. Die. How dare you not die. Eh, we'll just keep whittling you down. And that's why you are now dead. Alright, got him on. Kale. Now you know how it feels! Now you know how it feels to miss! Out of nowhere! Would you never do? Kill the little man. And his little Digimon. Ah. Lightning paw. Even the soldier man disappeared. And it just keeps going. I'm just here to have fun. Why, we don't have to go all out, do we? Come on, just relax and then lose. So I can send you crying to your mom. Wahaha. They're all... We'll have to wait and see. I think they're all virus. All right. Kind of. I shall beat you up for the fun of it. Luckily, we have two vaccine types here to annihilate you. Lol. You picked the absolute worst day to run virus. You slapped my Cyberdrum on, how dare you? You slapped my Cyberdrum on, how dare you? And then we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll start whittling him down while the two super effectives go to war. Bye-bye, Growlmon. And we'll just Desolation Claw you for maximum damage. Well, maximum damage. You know, I was half expecting to actually get hit with poison there. Lightning Paw. Max. <laughs> Beefed up Lightning Paw. Annihilation to your face. The two vaccines punch you. Huzzah. Level ups for everybody. And if that's still not. <laughs> It's this guy again! I'm trying to kill some time. Try not to lose too quick, would you? And it's a normal type. Oh, that's very rude. You know, since this is a rock type, that should do, like, major damage to him. Lightning Paw. Please, like, smack him up hard. Well, of course he blocked it. Desolation Claw! Cross counter. Wish I could learn how what that did. Hmm. I will speed charge Cyberdramon. Well, that's not good. I don't think. Hmm, let's see. Holy light. Beefed up holy light, too.
nightmare. That's not nice at all. And that's gonna kill Gatamon. War Growlmon, come on in. Desolation Claw. Well, that's not nice at all. Luckily, he wasted that turn. And luckily, he is now run out of his counter. Atomic Blaster! That's gonna... Extra rude. Why are you just spamming this move? Like a jerk. Gonna bring an XV-mon. And Pixie mod, because why not? Nice that you can swap out multiple. At the very least. I'll quickly do this. Because you're gonna do that. Why'd that kill everyone? Why'd that actually do that? Game! And now the game's cheating. Because it gets multiple moves, like an asshole. Yeah, that's freaking stupid. Like, legitimately. Also, it feels like he's arbitrarily immune to everything. Because the game's an asshole. And it doesn't actually believe in actually being nice. Ah, uh, yes. Arbitrary difficulty. That's the best way of making game. At least this means I'll be able to go through it again and level up characters. Hmm. I wonder. Yep, and everybody is healed up to the last. And that... So if I want to, just go in and lose to the final guy if I want to, like, speed level up characters, I suppose. But still, annoying that they're, like, arbitrary difficulty needing up in there. I say. Because that is arbitrary difficulty. Oh yes, the enemy. He's immune to things. No, no, no. Making enemy arbitrarily immune to things like stun and panic is stupid. It is very, very, very stupid. I guess I'll go ahead and start you investigating, because... Bibbidi-bop. Oh yeah, we already did all the evolutions. We'll look and see. But yeah, if you want to, like, speed Digivolve characters, just do that and lose to the final guy again and again. Let's see. Property, 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 property. Just a whole bunch of property. Just a whole bunch of property. And I'm going to quickly go back and double check, like, the Digivolution of the team. Probably wouldn't want to Digivolve again so soon, because... Don't have that much memory left in the bank, you can see. Let's see, Gatamon is not terribly far away, with only one, which we black the Aquilamon. Oh, actually, there is an Aquilamon. Where's Aquilamon? Let's see. Aquilamon is here! Hmm. Hmm. We'll just give you lots of normal digi meat. Which honestly, 
isn't a terrible way of doing it if you just focus down on one Digimon. Oh yeah, we're gonna look at others. But, <laughs> hilariously, that's the only one that, like, breaks the bank. And that's Angelwomon, obviously, but I wonder what that one is. And your max level is 51, and the only difference of, of level is ABI, so it's not really that big of a deal, really. We need Stingmon, Stingmon. And more attack and CAM. Hmm, so we could get that if we raise your CAM enough. We just need you in the frontline battle, but you're a neutral type, so that's kind of bothersome. And now we can get both of these! And because I don't really care too much about it, I'll go ahead and, like, Digivolve Togemon, because again, I don't really care about the ABI. The ABI thing is the kind of thing where you'd go and only really do it- oh wait, pff, I'm dumb. Brain is super fried. It's like, yes, we saved and already digivolved and want to undo. But let's see. Turgamon. What is the one that was harder to get? Well, I guess let's do the one that... Oh no, we already know you. You're the pumpkin guy. But what's the one that was hard to get? Will Togemon digivolve into this or Lilymon? Let's see. Hilarious. I'll take Lilymon. <laughs> Hilarious, I'll take Lily Mod. Cause it's just like it feels wrong to go from Togamon to Mac Galmon. It just feels wrong. Sure, Lilymon isn't like the most amazing, but at least it fits. I need to put more like things on it than what you can digivolve to. And I apparently have the ABI for all of them. Neat for when the time comes. Very neat. And until we get... We we don't have one, do we? We don't have a random memory up. Nope, we don't have a random memory up. That would have been hilarious. Alright, and now we will... Organize, move Lilymon out, move... Let's see. You in... And Growlmon in. And we'll try to level up the CAM of XVMon. Alright. Uh, do we have any active diddly, or do we just need to wander around? Looks like it's wander around time. Alright, wander around time it is. Oh yes, I should probably at least throw some items onto my characters. My Digimans. Attack E. And do we have any, like, <laughs> ooh. If I just want to, like, beat you up. But I shouldn't, like, go too, too crazy. Since we use you a lot. Let's take the SP and give you a fighter disc. You can have an attack E. Just to give you something. Give you an intelligence. And a speed. We already maxed out. Got him on. Has the researcher USB kind of makes it a little pointless because it's not on a main diddly. But yeah, now we'll just wander around. Make sure there's nobody in the building that can give. If anything, it'll probably end up like uh, what's it called? It'll probably end up like uh, going into Kowloon to make sure that Nokia didn't get eaten alive. Oh, well came, lol. A small difference from interacting with her. It's a miracle. I guess I can check in here just to, like, triple check. 
It's been oh, five million years since we've interacted with Peef. Jimmy can zero Jack cut off mid-broadcast. I wonder what happened. I really like him. He's a criminal, Jack. You were like, oh, but I like that criminal. Wacko man. But I guess let's just go around. Like, maybe go to the Asakusa. Can I go in? Cannot, even though it says that I can. He gave it as a lie. Alright. Well, let's try Akihabara. Probably won't be anything. And nope. Nope, and nothing also. Is it just me or is this like badly done streets? Well, I guess if you are just turning, it wouldn't be terrible. I don't know. The, I don't understand the Japanese streets. But yeah, seriously. That is some, like, anime-ass anime up there. Release Strut. Mugen Khan. Mugen Khan. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Let's wander around. See if there's anything anywhere. Doesn't seem to be. Let's go to the music store. Would be frickin' hilarious if... Edamon is just walking about. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything. Then Shinjuku? Ah! The man, Arata. What be you saying? Hey, what are you doing around here? You're telling me the great Cyrus Luth is just walking around looking for a job? <laughs> just joking with you. If you're free to do, you want to hang out? Actually, this written challenge just came from some mysterious guy. Written challenge. What? It says, in my hand, I am holding a very rare out-of-print edition of the comic Bakuin Delete. If you want it, accept the challenge. What is the challenge? Basically, this is a rare comic contest. What do you think? Interesting, right? We should do it together. Uh, we will definitively lose. I know, I know. I'll send it to Kyoko as an official request. If she finds out we're slacking off work to go mess around, Kyoko's gonna explode. So I have to go all the way back to accept it, to face Kyoko going, Are you really going to do this? This is an actual request, you say? Lol, a rare comic collection. A mysterious man has issued a challenge, a fight with rare comics estate. Cyber Sleuth, I need your help! <laughs> And Kyoko says nothing. Alright. Where do we head? Arata community. Arata community area. Is it in Eden? Arata community area? Community area. Is it in Eden? Because that's the only community area I can think of. Yeah, the community area. Oh, you're here at last. You're late. I'm always late. Hey, is this your friend? Hey, uh, mm, uh that, I mean, this, this is, eh. Uh, okay, so it's the two of you who are doing the rare con contest this time? Okay, then, do your best. We'll see ya. Yeah, so I was telling you about the written challenge from the suspicious guy, right? That suspicious guy is a rare comic collector. He brings participants in with the promise of rare comics and then gets them to answer fan questions he comes up with. All over Eden, there are contest organizers, so-called game masters, who ask the questions. Everyone has to answer. The way it works is that the first one to reach the rare comic collector will be presented with one of his best comics. You can't just buy a rare comic from the collector. 
Man, what I wouldn't do ooh, to get that rare comic. I'm literally salivating at the very thought. We've gotta do it. We've gotta win. We need to get our hands on that rare comic. But I don't know anything. Huh? You wanna know what Bakuin Delete is? It's a long story, but a good one. Okay. Bakuin Delete, or Bakudeli, is set in the turn of the century dystopia. Bakuin, or Bomber Garden, is the scene of a wild hero and heroine adventure. The hero is Shao Kyo. Shao Kyo. Haku, he's the head of the student council, a brilliant genius and a senior at a private school called Saint Erase. Not just that, but he's an incredible hacker. Haku, Soku Delete, he's vowed never to kill. He destroys evil hackers all in the name of justice. At the start of the series, he's a detective who can use hacking, but... Huh? Are you even listening to me? I got the basics. Well, I did tell you it was a long story. Well, anyway, Baku and Delete is now out of print. This is an amazing chance to get the final volume of the comic, which is extremely rare. Huh, usually you'd think it would be like the first ish, like the first volume, which would be rare because it's up and coming, and then it would be popular by the end. Wonder why the final volume is rare. Huh, why is it out of print? Well, that's a long story. Wanna hear it? Okay, go for it. Well, it's just an overreaction. From when it was published, harmful hackers started to pop up in Eden, and people feared the comic was to blame. Believe it or not, they suspected the author of being a hacker himself, and he was arrested. After that, it was recalled and went out of print. It was always just a minor comic of a few fans. The shop stopped stuck in it three days before the arrest, making an extremely rare comic. Now you can get the contents of the comic on the web, but nothing beats the real deal. Hey, are you even listening? Huh? You want to know what, who the suspicious guy who issued the written challenge is? Well, basically, um, you see, I... I guess nobody really knows, to be honest. Okay, so this is the starting point. The Game Master must be around here somewhere. Let's find the first Game Master and solve the first puzzle. This is gonna be one of those, oh, uh, basic things about the comic. Answer the diddly D. am the Game Master. Hey, Game Master. You have no eyes. Well, I guess you have eyes. <laughs> You're also a participant in the contest, right? Okay, so answer the following question. Question. In which frame of which volume of the comic series did the main character's rival, Inchinosuke Ginda, first appear? Volume 2, frame 9. Oh, this is a difficult question for you. It's an easy one for me. The answer is volume th 43, frame 2, right? It's a scene where General Asimov brings him to the classroom. Haha, <laughs> correct! But this is just a beginner level question. Next, please go to the entrance of Eden. You will be asked another question by the Game Master. So it's basically, go here, do that, and I don't even get the chance to get the right answer. Unless the third one was chapter, of volume 43. Okay, the second Game Master should be around here somewhere. Let's f look for him and answer the next question. That is obvious. Are you the Game Master? <laughs> okay then, let's get started. Question! In Bakuin Delete, what is the name of the pet rabbit that belongs to Rodrigo, the main character's Japanese-Brazilian next-door neighbor? Rabbity. The dog was called John, the cat was called Polish, and the monkey was called Ikatrina. Really? He Is it Pionkichi? Wow, that's amazing, correct! There's no way I can get these answers correct. So far, you've been able to answer all the questions easily. Which is what I expect from you, Arata. <laughs> next, you should go to the Eden community area. There, you will be asked the final question by the next Game Master. The first one to answer the question correctly will be given the right comic. Okay, try your best, and good luck. <laughs> Is the Game Master just logging into various accounts? Oh. Pockwidge, what baby bird Digimon enjoys pecking Tanamon on the head? Uh, Beomon? Because Bukamon... I don't think Bukamon is a bird Digimon. The only bird Digimon that... Well, I don't know. They'll probably be wrong. Fitting that I get a trivia question while I do the trivia questions. The top tier Game Master should be around here somewhere. Let's look for him and answer the next question. Ah, uh, he's not in the same spot. Yeah, the top tier Game Master, right? Precisely! You finally made it here! Of course it would be you, Arata. So, shall we get the final question? Question! 
And the main character in Baku and Delete, Shokyo Baku, went to a school by the name of... <laughs> That's the easy one. It's called Saint Erase, private high school, right? However... I'm afraid I need the exact name and address of the school! <gasps> I, but I don't know! I don't know. Akebono 710. Uh-oh, sorry, wrong answer. Hmm, which one is it? Oh yeah, I think it came in volume 18, the scene with the school entry application acceptance. Hmm, ah, damn it. Come on, I know this. I don't remember. Hey, Neon, can you figure it out? If you go ask some comic n book nerds from Broadway, use Bookstore, they'll probably know. Please, I have to go all the way. Then you have the uh, common courtesy to just teleport me. Don't even know why the game is like, hey, you get a chance to answer the question. There's literally no way that I can answer the question, Gabe. You didn't put the right answer on there as a guess. Okay, and it was in Akihabara, I believe, he said. Nope, I think I got it wrong. Oh, Kami Mani. Oh no, used bookstore. Basement. BW3 Wad. Hmm, so. That would be the pro probably the right place, but no. Oh, the used bookstore. My brain. The used bookstore. Nakano. Brain. My brain just went on autopilot there for some reason. To the used bookstore. What now? Huh? St. Race's High School's ad address. Who the hell are you and why are you asking this out of the blue? St. Race High School, you mean the one for the main character from Bakuin Delete went to? Well, you know, even though I'm an expert at everything to do with comic books, when you ask me out of nowhere like that. Uh. Eh, <laughs> nah, that's an easy one. St. Ray's High School is Kingston 58. But why are you asking? What? A rare comic contest? If you can answer the question, you get a copy of the legendary final box. <laughs> what? No, no, freaking way! Are you freaking kidding me? You gotta tell me about it! Sorry, my dude. You'll be left. But of course, it'll turn out that he'll manage to get there before me, answer the question. Because no power can deter the nerds. Kingston 58. Oh yeah, it's a Kingston address, but I can't remember the number. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up and answer already. Someone else will win the rare comic. No! <laughs> How did it go? Do you know the answer? Kingston 58. That's it, Kingston 58. That's it, exactly. Congratulations. That's the right answer. Thank you so much. That's it, you've answered all the questions. Please go to Eden Free Area now. If you get there first, the comic will be yours. The mysterious guy who organized this contest seems to be the Eden Free Area. Quick, let's go. And of course, the super nerd's gonna beat us there. Because nothing will be able to deter the super nerd. Oh, I can, it's a new area entirely. Programming now. Uh huh. The recent Kowloon is considered a dangerous so that the hackers there use specialized programs. In the digital world, the programs manifest in three dimensions, so they can directly interact with targets. Do you find this very appealing? Ah, so this free area is under construction. They got an area set up for celebrities to have posh parties on the top level. Just day in, day out, party up there. But losers like me can't even get close. I'm Skull Satamon. I've just kept pressing the button. That's I don't know why picking up items off the ground is weird. Oh, I got the answer right. Huzzah. Fear my power of deductive reasoning of well, that's a bird Pokemon. Once again, bird Digimon. Hi, Arada. Oh, so close. <gasps> Unfortunately, someone else got here before you. You're the second one here, Arada. No, really? Yeah, it was really just a split second difference, actually. I can't believe it. I tried. I tired so hard! 
practice, translation, localization, grammarization hurts my soul. Well, what can you do? It was fun, so I guess it's not a total loss. It was a nice way to pass the time. Uh, well then, Narada, maybe we should hold another rare comic contest in the future. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Next time I'm the organizer. Really? Hmm? Oh yeah, I know this guy. Huh? I said he was suspicious looking. No, I never said that. Well, I think it spices things up a bit, calling him suspicious and all that. Actually, I do that all the time with my friends. This guy is, well, sort of my friend or whatever. Really? What? What is it? Is something wrong? Arata, you're such a nerd. Don't say that! That's not true at all! Well, even so, it was fun, right? You should take part next time. I knew the super nerd would win. Baku and Delete, comic about hackers having engaging... Having engaging in battles! Grammar! Grammar! Having engaging in battles! If you just got rid of the N, it'd be like having engaging battles. Or engaging in battles. What is the having in? Ah! Ah! It's a comic for people like him who have a kind of sickness. Still a rare comic contest among friends. I wonder why humans would bother putting so much energy into something so utterly fruitless. They really have a lot of time on their hands. Report back to the agency. We didn't even win. Ooh, sleuth rank up! Became good cyber sleuth. Are there bad ones? People are a never-ending source of surprises. I never pictured Dorada as the type to hang around with the taku crowds myself. Sorry to keep you waiting. Took some time to do a little prep work. And that's fine. I'm really looking forward to seeing your Kamashiro infiltration plan. Excuse me, but what did you need from me? Ah, uh, Yuko Kamashiro. Sorry to have you called here out of the blue. So we have the Cyber Sleuth's connection jump, my hacking skills, and your connections. My plan involves using all three of these in concert for the first time. Connection jump? Ah, oh, you don't know about that. Explain it to her, Neon. I am part digital monster! Half cyber body? Is that even possible? I see. I think I understand now. That's why you've been able to move about so mysteriously at times. So then you have Eden Syndrome as well. No, it's nothing. I'm sorry for interrupting. Please continue. I'll explain the main thrust of the strategy now. Our target today is the secret database on Kamishiro's Avalon server. Beyond that is a top secret area known as the Secret Room. The Secret Room? Yeah, Kamishiro's most confidential area. In other words, the location of the folder for every Kamishiro CEO, including Kashibe. Once that folder is open, you can dull, you all can dive into Kamishiro's confidential database. Man, this detective agency is turning out to be scarier than any hacker team I know. I'll take that as a compliment. Yet, that operation still ended with nothing to show for it. Now I get it. You've got your eyes on an even deeper level. And that's the plan. Using a connection jump, we can get in as far as the confidential database. First, we use our Kamishiro connections to get us invitations to the preview event at Kamishiro HQ. Ria Kashibe, the CEO of Kamishiro, mentioned it, right? It's a preview of the big update for Eden. We'll have Neon infiltrate the confidential database from a terminal there. Once in, send an invitation URL from the database to me, and then I'll be able to get in as well. Then you'll access the secret room, correct? Yeah. Once we have the data kept there, we should be able to solve this whole thing, including figuring out Sudo's true motives. For that, we're gonna need you to tap your connections once again, Yuko. The passcode that gets us into the secret room changes every day, right? The only one who knows the passcode is Kashibe. We need you to get close to her. You're the only one who can uh, one of us who can. You want me to steal the passcode from her? Well, that's the plan. Once we're in the top secret area, I'll override the security so we can communicate with Kyoko. You can tell us the passcode via Kyoko. Uh, what is it? Don't tell me you've suddenly come down with a case of cold feet. No, that won't be an issue. But I do have one request. My father, Satoru Kamashiro, his notes and research data should still be in the secret room. Could you also get those for me? 
I'm sure the truth about my father's suicide and info related to the Eden Syndrome is in there. I see. We were certainly unable to find anything conclusive last time. If it's anywhere, it'll probably be in the secret room. Okay, I'm down with that. It won't make the mission any harder, anyway. Well, we don't have know if the data's even there to begin with, but you're right. There's one other possible data storage site. The Valhalla server, which is the core of Eden's quantum processing and control. That server's got to have all of Eden's history recorded on it, dating back to the very beginning. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. The Valhalla server? Oh, sure, go right ahead and name drop that like it's nothing, why don't you? Even the most legendary of hackers couldn't hope to get that close to that thing. It's got the toughest security in the world all in one place. Oh, admitting defeat already? That's not like you. But do you have a bad experience there? Who asked you? It doesn't matter. That server is no go. It's not something we can just hack into. But if a Digimon program was used for the hacking, there might be a way. What did you say? Nothing. It's a gamble just infiltrating the secret room. Asking us to hit the Valhalla server is another matter entirely. I want nothing to do with it. Hmm. If you bail out on us now, we lose everything. Anyway, our target today is the secret room. That's all there is to it, then. Who run he who runs after two hairs will catch neither. That's fine with me. Okay, then. Let's get this mission started. Chapter 9, Our Master Plan. They spell... The, the specific, like, letters that show up with, like, chapter names, they spell something out, don't they? All right. I'm good. Uh, it should be case. No, nothing. Uh, point me in the right direction. All right, let's get started. Head to Kamishiro HQ in Eden. Not simple, huh? Kamishiro Enterprises. Hmm, they updated this place. New world. New world. New world. New world. Well. We got into the preview, no problem. Still, this is pretty nerve-wracking. Yeah. You don't have a lot of guts, Arata. Quiet! Don't use my real name! You're gonna blow your cover, Neon! You fool! Oops, sorry, sorry. We lose everything if they see through our disguises, so be careful about this. I see you. Have all gathered here today. Thank you so much for your patience, everyone. This is the entrance to the upgrade preview. Please follow me after me. Why do you have to say it so weird? Had me going for a second with the I see you. Way too close for comfort. The venue's over there. Let's go. Ah, they've added glass and clouds. Oh, this is intense. They weren't kidding about it being a major upgrade. They actually put in a skybox. This ain't the time to be gawking. Time to start our plan. Before that, don't you feel funny in these get-ups? Played around a bit with the stealth hide you've used before. This will help us recognize each other. There's nothing to worry about. Anyone else will see us as different people. Okay, then. Ready to get started? Oh, boy. Flashes. Oh, man. Not this again. Did you just see that, too? Oh, that's good to hear. Guess I don't need to have my head examined. But what was that then? Digital noise or something like that? Could it be related to Eden Syndrome? We don't have time to think about this now. For now, let's just stick to the plan. You need to find a terminal and do a connection jump. Contact me once you're in the database. Don't worry, I'll make a little noise to distract the Kimishiro employees. Oh, this is incredible! Sick! It's nearly identical to the real world! Sick! Really just sick! Uh, young man, please keep your voice down. Now go! Hilarious. Sick! Just sick! So what kind of stuff do you like? I'll answer a thing. The rebels are steadily building rank, but they'll need more to combat hackers. Good for you. Nice. All these people freaking out. Hmm. I wonder if I can... Stuff hide. Returning to the entrance, yes? No. It does seem like stealth hide has a very specific use. Are you sure you want to connect jump? They'll never see it coming! Woo! 
been a while since we've been in one of these. Alright, is this like the super- This is gonna end in a dead end right at the- Okay, it's not. I would have laughed if it did, though. Alright, if that's just you not wanting to go through the patchwork of zones. But I'm here for dead ends. Oh, hey, it's a Falcomon! Destroy the Falco mod with increased damage. Because why not? Die, bird. Still don't know why they felt the need to give, like, all of the Gilmon evolution lines, like, thigh markings that look like thigh straps. entire thing just feels weird. Ah, oh, we get the first attack. Neat. Punch his face in. Punch the bird. The bird is dead. And so is the other bird. Doesn't even look like there were any items to pick up in this one. Profound sadness. Oh, we, we got a digiline. Who's digilining me? Farm has been found. No cases, huh? Well, let's see where we go from here. Oh, hey, this place again. I can't send the invitation URL. Better get in touch with Arata. Hey, looks like you got an easy way. Now send me the invitation URL. What? You can't send it? There's a block on it? Mm, stupid old Kamashiro database. Okay, I'll try and do something from my end. For now, try uh, track down and break through any security you can so we can contact Kyoko. Hang in there. No need to be nervous over something like this. Talk to you later. Let's press on. Security should be around here somewhere. This feels like it's building up to the end. But at the same time, it feels sudden. Ah. Digimon. Hmm. Electric base and electric vaccine. All right. V laser the vaccine. The base will be taken care of. I guess they only get voice lines during their special diddlies. Desolation Claw. Hilarious. If only it did as much damage. Oh, nice critical. Atomic Blaster! How dare you live, you little shit. Have you lasered that man again? Oh, and all three? Nice. Once again, Atomic Blaster. That's not Atomic Blaster. Yeah, this is an RPG! However you say your name, P3 Urtich. And sometimes it is quite a kick to the gut. But only so far as, like, a... Hmm. Yeah, we'll just keep beating you. Eh, but then we can probably... Eh, let's try and kill you. Let's try and kill you. So far, it hasn't been super difficult. Damn you to live, you bastard! So far, the only place... Perch, like Sniper's Perch. Eh. The three threw me off. But yeah, it's been quite fun so far. We'll just woke a napalm, the small ball. Metal, 
Mamon. Mamon. Ah! Hatred. Full of hatred. Kick his face. Kick him like the ball that he is. He seems to do that with some people, lol. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so far, this game has been quite fun. Decently challenging here or there, but only like really hard in the optional arena area. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do a heavy strike to conserve our SP. But at the same time, Ward Graumon hasn't done that much, so Atomic Blaster him! Why not? He's sure he's a vaccine and you're a virus, but kill him. So what's going on now? We're late in the game. So, right now, we're currently breaking into the, oh, large capacity USB and researcher USB. Neat. But right now we're breaking into the security of the Kamishiro uh, company who owned the big virtual reality that I'm totally sure at this point that Facebook ripped off for metaverse. They, I think, I forget, did they use the word metaverse in this? No, they, of course, but maybe they did. It was a long time ago when I started this and brain is frying. But yeah, we're breaking into the security to learn of various things because a lot of stuff has happened. Digimon are happening, people are losing their digital selves so their bodies are being taken in under Eden Syndrome to a hospital owned by Kamishiro, because that's ethical. And just like tons of stuff is happening. Oh yeah, and the digital world and the real world are meshing at places. And there are eaters that eat your da mental data and leave you in Eden Syndrome when the physical world and digital world collide. It's a, a lot's going on. Haha, <laughs> caught up with you. How'd you do that? I was about to try to bust through security head on, but it went down on its own just now. I don't suppose you did anything. I did defeat two Digimon, but I'm not sure. I see, that Digimon you took out must have been there in a uh, place of normal security, really. Digimon aren't the sort of thing you can take out from the outside. Heck, usually you can't even take them out from the inside either. I'm lucky you went on ahead of me. Okay, we'd better secure a line to Kyoko. Hang on a sec, Neon. That sounds nuts, yeah. <laughs> like, even the side quests in this game feel like they're like mini like, episodes from an anime that could have been. But, like, a lot of stuff is hap has happened. And some of it's humorous, some of it's just whack. Th so far, I'm really liking this game. Except for the translation at places. The grammar sucks at times. Still, this is a nasty situation. If Digimon are being used for security purposes, then Kamishiro staff might be using them for all sorts of ends. Could this actually all be part of that jerk Suido's plan? Did you hear about Digimon Survive? I ha- uh, Unless something new has come out about it, I cannot wait for Digimon Survive to come out at the end of the month, and I'm just waiting for the Steam page to go live to pre-order it, but apparently... Bandai Namco is like usually like, eh, hey, we're just gonna send it up on the day of and not give you time. Because why hype up the PC release, Bandai Namco? Why do that? But yeah, I can't wait for that because that looks like a high tier Digimon experience and I want it to kick me in the gut emotionally. I'm so ready. It looks so nice. It does. I haven't seen much, but what I have seen is like Digimon Tactics RPG. I can do that. Digimon are characters. Hell yeah! I am down for Digimon as characters. That is why I'm so annoyed that the only Digimon that are, like, actually characterized in this game so far have been... Well, aside from the side mission Digimon, like the Lilymon that was in a guy's phone, the Grapple Leomon that was beating up people's high scores in a fighting game, uh, the only real major talking Digimon that are characters are Agumon and Gabumon that work with Nokia, our other main Digi-destined friend so far, and Pete, the Wanyamon with amnesia. So, yeah, a Digimon game where my partner Digimon gets to have a personality? Yes, please. Hey, I've gotten through. Try talking to Kyoko, Neon. I've been waiting. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? 
Hey, we did it. We're ready to we're reading you loud and clear, Kyoko. Aha, uh -huh, well done. And now for the passcode. Yeah, here's hoping that girl does her part. Don't worry about her, she'll do a good job. She's a bit wet behind the ears, but she's desperate, and there's nothing scarier, and no one most dependable than a novice who's desperate. Haha, <laughs> you might have a point there. I'll check with her for the passcode. Okay then, we'll head off to the secret room. I trust she'll get us the passcode, right? Hopefully. Of course the CEO room is like in Eden Space 2. Just a little, just a little more. Alright, three digilines. Farm 2 completed a thing. Traffic controller ain't here, just some dude covering. What'd you do? I'm not exactly free right now. How's that? Like, the first answer is logical. I'm walking around the city in my free time. This is like kind of a deflection. I'm not exactly free right now in response to an accusation. Is a ga game, translation, localization, grammar. Why? I sent some cookies you might like. It should take a few weeks to arrive. They better be long-lasting cookies. Hey, really? Great! Lulz indeed. Now we got to gather up all of these uh, items. Because I want to grab all the items. All the items shall be mine. Wait. Oh, nope. We can get over here. Oh, nope. That's a break leg. The light at that end made it hard to see. Dawn Gradient. So let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. So we can... Hmm. I'll need to get a better look at this place. I knew your Digimon would evolve into that after I saw it. Let's see. Uh, beat up Kabuterimon. <laughs> bye bye, Kabuterimon. Seriously. These are just so much easier to annihilate compared to. The gold cup of the offline arena. Alright, let's see. So this seems to be the only path. But it doesn't lead anywhere, so that means perhaps there's a path up here. Wait, purple? Purple? What's up? Huh? We can't go any further. Hey now, what do you think I came along? <laughs> a newbie like you might not see it. But if you can find a point in the security net that's more strained than the others... Well, I did see it on the mini-map, Arata. Don't, don't you go talking to me like that. And now security itself is on, is our way in. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, we'll grab the item box because all items, yes. HP capsule C, not terrible. Oh boy, we haven't run into you yet. And you're weak as hell! Good! Beat up the giant bunny! What type are you? Vaccine. So... Eh, we'll just nightmare you. This really makes me wonder, like, how hacker's memory is going to handle. Because this is only, like, technically the first half of the game, technically. This game, the uh, cyber sleuth part of it. And then there's the secondary game that's like came bundled with this version of the game. The s hacker's memory. And I'm just wondering how it all will come together. All right, so we need to do lots of... Well, first we're gonna read this. Uh, let's see. Code and scan. Give us data. Unlock code. Pattern red. Okay. Pattern red. <laughs> Freaky ass Digimon. Let's see. Who should we annihilate? Eh, they're both base. Which actually means that they're gonna do a number on Cybertramon. Hmm. All right, heavy strike you since you're weak. You're weak sauce. And I was gonna say, if you lived that, if you survived, I would have been upset. 
I've been clicking with the Digimon trading card game. This week it's looking like I'm grabbing some boosters and stuff. Neat. I keep forgetting that the Digimon trading card game exists. It is rather neat. Oh, ooh. If I ever want to level up a Digimon, that would be very nice. We'll come down here for the other item. But it's nice that the Digimon trading card game is still going. Even if it isn't rocking the public consciousness. Alright, so vaccine and virus, we will annihilate you. Still hilarious that he... The noise and the sudden drop is what gets me. And we can make a wasp mon, or whatever it's called. I assume it's like wasp mon. We've ran into it a lot, and I forget its name. Super easy. In the world of the digital, he who is hacker is god. All right. Copy and paste. Let's take a look at the Digiline. I was shocked how it tasted like one of your snacks and my contact gave me one. Oh, so you're free? I'm going to assume that that is sarcasm on the character's part and not bad grammar. Because some of these things have fell off where I don't trust it anymore. I don't trust sarcasm from this game. Because it could be sarcasm or it could just be one wonky moment that makes no sense and makes brain hurt. Punch to the face. Beat up the poor boy. Make him annihilation. And what's your name? Gargomon. I always forget this guy's evolution names. And Woken Napalm, it won't kill him. Or, okay, prove me wrong, War Growlmon, sure. War Growlmon looked at me and said, How dare you not believe in War Growlmon? And then decided to go do a murder. Okay. Escape gates, also known as those things I never use. Because Brain doesn't like using consumables. I do enjoy the, like, okay, Infernmon, sure. But I do enjoy this area's, like, variety of Digimon that it's throwing at us. Alright, go and no <laughs> annihilate the poor sheriff man. But yeah, I'm just glad that I just decided to, hmm, I'm going to play the Digimon up here too. Especially considering that I completely forgot that Digimon Survive is just right around the corner. So this is having me hyped up for Digimon Survive. And hopefully, like, not to knock this game, it is good fun. But it would be ever so slightly nice if Digimon Survive was just a, a, a little bit better on the quality level. Ever so slightly. Like, better grammar? At least. Alright, great. Now we're going to another level. So, mana and HP. Does anybody need to be healed? No, not really. Hmm... I can, oh, no, nope, can't go that way because it's blocked. <laughs> well, it's had three years to bake. I'd hope it has better grammar. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, 
It's just ever so slightly... <laughs> ever so slightly... Not, not shock... I guess surprising is the word I'd go for. It's ever so slightly surprising, like, come into this game like, Oh yeah, this game is very good as a Digimon game. And be like, okay, sure. And then you come in, and the grammar's just kind of jank. And it's just like, mm. <laughs> Is this a commentary on the state of Digimon games? Or... Or, or am I just, like, missing... Like, some of the quote-unquote grammar parts could be me just having a weird time of it. But, at the same time, some of it is d definitely very weird. XVMon, you can beat up your, your boyfriend. It's only right. And if you had missed that, I would have to debate turning you up into powder to fuel somebody else because <laughs> missing in this game is death sentence even if it only really happens in the face of Bibbidi Bappa the offline arena <laughs> slap that wasp <laughs> double slap XVmon is best Clefairy Alright, now we just need to find the best way in. We can decrypt this, and it'll probably tell me which color we require. Unlock code. Left blue, right green. Left blue, right green. Wait. Did I... Okay, my brain is like... I wish that I could open up the uh, like a map just to see the overall shape of the dibbity d. Ah, restraint chip, aka that thing I'm never gonna use because it's a consumable. Consume? No. Super easy. Become a hack god. Hack everything. Hack the planet. Considering that the... Alright, copy and paste. And hopefully my short-term memory will remember the proper order for these colors. You are a menace to society, aren't you? Arata. I mean, you are a hacker. So that makes sense. Of course, this gets a combo. Of course, it kills once more while War Growlmon is just like, No! You don't get to underestimate your Digimon! It's like, okay, War Greymon. Nice to have your buddies back, I see. HP capsule. Lol, 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 lol. We're just going along the giant Chozo symbol from Metroid Prime. Nothing to see here. Ah, this again. Arata, you want to set up yeah, another of this? The Cybersoup games are like Pokemon in the best ways. I, I would say these are definitely fun like that. The only thing that uh, brings it down for me is because I'm used to the Digimon anime, like animes, so my brain was like, I can't wait to have a Digimon partner with a personality of their own. And now I end up with 11 Digimon that don't even get voice lines unless I sometimes use their ultimate attack, I think. Ever so slightly. Alright. Uh, we're gonna... Unlock code. Right pattern green. That's what I assumed, but I'd rather double check before I, like, do it. And it's like, YOU HAVE GOTTEN THE CODE WRONG! Ah! And then, like, make me walk the entire way again. Also, that looks more kind of turquoise than green, but I guess turquoise is a derivative of green in a way. Yeah, that's a different kind of game. Yep. I understand my expectations could be wrong, but... 
<laughs> the brain just wanted the Digimon personalities, and that's why I'm super excited. Super excited for Survive. And I'm just over here, patiently waiting for the Steam page, Bandai Namco. At least I think Bandai Namco is the head of the people. Could be wrong, brain could just be, once again, fried. But yeah, Digimon Survive. The mere fact that both humans and Digimon have possibility to die, and there actually is a way to get there, and I'm just very dumb. <laughs> but yes, child death and Digimon death? Sign me up! Crushing emotions? Ha ha ha! You have failed me, Arata. I'm rushing it for my Switch. Definite mood. And I think I heard that the... Like, what was... I forget why. But I heard that there was, like, going to be a Gilmon like, pre-order bonus. But then, I guess because certain things happened, they're like... As recompense, maybe for the delays, I did not keep up on the Digimon Survive news. I'm just like, I will patiently await Digimon Survive, and when it is out, I will let it destroy my soul. Uh, so yeah, all I know is a formerly pre-order bonus Gilmon is just, oh hey, if you buy Digimon Survive within the first month, you get Gilmon. And it's like, honestly, that sounds like a better way of doing it overall. It in the modern age it's just like hey if you support our game in the early times we reward you give you some bonuses which still kind of encourage the okay yes you are a minister to society Arata. but it kind of, it still encourages that early adopter like I a mentality without like being super duper like you have to pre-order before anybody's ever gotten their hands on the game so, it, it's the best of both worlds. It allows for people to wait a bit to see what the initial release of a game is like, while also still allowing you to get that early adopter package. And I think that is a great idea, even if it is a concession made on their part. I have half the mind to just wander around. Just so I... Even if it's not a 200%, like, creation just wander around and get Stingmon as a thing to create. Yeah, I feel early access versions are better for making people pre-order more games. Yep. Because now that the internet's so big, it just, it feels like it's the best of both worlds. You get the kind of Hey, get the game early, but all Woken Napalm Free? Free, you say? Free? Ha! But yeah, I just feel like pre order bonuses have kind of fallen to the wayside a bit because. Not only the intense backlash against most games when it comes to pre-ordering. And the horrific idea of, oh yeah, store-specific bonuses that went on for far too long. But it's, it's just nice. Hey, get game early, you get thing. Looks, that looks like the entrance to the secret room. Let's hope that we get the... Oh, I, I wanted to save. Actually, I wanted to... Oh, hey, an eater! Boy, oh, yeah, ah. Don't die, Arata. But that's... What is that eater doing here? And to further my annoyance with this game, the last time Arata and I ran into an eater, he called it a Bakemon! And that wasn't raging. I don't know why he's like, hmm, there's a labyrinth here. It must be the work of a Bakemon. And the entire time I was just like, no. No, it's not. It's an eater. We have established this. <sighs> we don't have any choice. We've got to fight it. And this all but confirms that... Kishima, whatever, are behind, like, basically sending the eaters after, like, at places. It's basically no point to do baby bop Just annihilate him. <gasps> I should bring... I know! I know what to do! I know what to do! It's 
Vimon. Gotomon. We can annihilate it easily. The cheese shall be had. Atomic Blaster, because it's not going to last that long. They didn't have an insane budget for these games. Fair enough, I suppose. Fair enough, but it's still ever so slightly noticeable. Lightning Paw! The fixed damage attack that annihilates eaters! But yeah, at the end of the day, it's just like... It just feels like, I don't know. It still bothers me. I can, like, take a lot of various other levels of, oh, budget reasons. But grammar, grammar is my, my berserk button. I, bad grammar hurts my soul. Digimon games were in decline when these showed up and showed it can fight in the market. I guess that is a definite, like, uh sign of devotion by the developers at the very least. They're like, we're gonna make a good game. And then the English translation section is... Th that's the one thing. The only part of this game, aside from maybe the ABI system, but that's meant to encourage replay and bibbidi bop, but that's also kind of min-maxing bleh. But so far, the only thing that I dislike about this game is the grammar and certain structurist flows. The story, I like the story. The characters, I like the characters. The various way of getting multiple Digimon and then de-digivolving Digimon into other Digimon that you might not have access to just yet, utterly brilliant and wonderful for this style of game. But when I see the grammar, I'm gonna look at the grammar and I'm going to go, oh God. <laughs> it's cousin Carl, the one bad family member. This is no laughing matter. There's no way this thing was part of Kamishiro's security measures, right? Have you seen the sexual harassment lady? It most definitely is, Arata! Oh, actually, you wouldn't know about the sexual harassment lady. Only I and Yuko have really seen the sexual harassment part of the sexual harassment lady, so I guess it makes sense. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yuko got her hands on the password. Hey, she really did it! Sending it now. Passcode. Re K totes adorbs. <sighs> well, lo and behold, sexual harassment lady strikes again. Uh -huh. What? Did it go through? That's pa that's a passcode to the secret room. Mr. V there. <laughs> this is it. Apparently the password wasn't something that was capable of being deduced via hacking. You'd have a really strong handle on personality or else make a lucky guess. Ray K totes adorbs. Yes, Ray K totes adorbs. I did mention how the passcode changes daily, right? This one is still valid. <laughs> By the way, yesterday's passcode was... No, let's just move on, shall we? It's a bit too lurid for miners like you. Hang on! Wait! Hey! Alright, proceed with the operation. You don't want Yuko's efforts to be in vain. You have to make your way inside. Man, now I really want to know what it was. <laughs> See, this is why. Even with the g grammar issues, the story and characters are still grand. Are you just gonna stand? Sit on her... You weren't even sitting in the chair last time we saw you. And you're like, I am now going to lean in her chair. Show dominance. <sighs> this should do the trick. I've got to get out of here and fast. That's why you took a seat. This is why you knew it. I've been found out. Bye bye, Yuko. You're gonna get. Don't send a... Don't 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 send an eater after her. So then this is. We don't even get to see. Oh boy. All right, we're going to save. We're going to run into more Stingmons. Ah, but it's a, it's it's not even that good a chance. They're like. One, two, like three or four run-ins on this level. I guess I could... Function call. Yay, it got the right one. Hell yeah. Stingmon is now ours to make. Annihilate. Oh, but it's a fixed damage. It wouldn't do much. Oh, well, it still kills. It doesn't matter. 
If it does fixed damage, all it matters is that it kills. Ah, that would be overkill. Walk and napalm too. Or is it walk napalm? Not walk in napalm. And I should probably check out my, like, uh, abilities, like Aurora. We do have heal, but Aurora does more. The ABI, uh, the ABI system is holdover from older Digimon games. I could feel that. <laughs> it's just when I look at it, it's just like, ABI, how does it work? <laughs> Fucking ABI, how does it work? <laughs> It's definitely interesting and it encourages, like, messing around with Digivolution. Hmm, physical attack, plant damage, or Comet Hammer 3. Comet Hammer 3, hmm. I don't really use power energy. I, that's what Desolation Claw is for, so Comet Hammer 3, come on in. Hmm. I do want to actually like, try out the older Digimon, or at least some of the older Digimon games at some point. Some of them. They interest me. It'll be interesting to sometime look it over. Well, this looks like the place. The secret room, huh? Well then, let's see what secrets are hiding exactly. But that passcode makes me think, what kind of woman is Kashibe? A sexual harasser! Quite literally, I don't think they could have gotten away with putting a male version of Kashibe as a villain in this game. I, I think a lot of people would have had issues with that. A female villain, like, groping a guy's abs. Totally fine. The reverse. No. I don't, even for a ever so slightly darker and edgier Digimon game. No, I don't think they could. She can't be anything like Nokia, right? If anything, they're kind of the reverse. Kishibe seems like the... Demonic clown. She acts silly, but holds an evil mind. Nokia has a pure heart, but is... she Her heart's in the right place. She can get some good ideas. But she is dumb as bricks sometimes. Well, never mind. We've got some searching to do. What the fuck? She has pictures of herself! Oh, for real? So this is Kamishura's top secret room, then. We've got to find the data we're after now. You go search over there! What the fuck? Hello, Abomination! We're in the middle of Clown Town right now. It's obviously gonna be the fucking diary! It's right there! <laughs> huh, you found something? What is it? That trashy old rag? Th these are... This company is m run by a monster. Why are these in here? And how long are you gonna hold them for? Put those away! Like, of course it's gonna be a goddamn, it's a goddamn diary. Then again, you'd expect it to be the diary because, ooh, brain. It'll actually be the mirror, won't it? Now what, huh? Raise heart-wrenching diary. All right, let's see what you've got. Looks like the contents are encrypted, it can't be. This is the confidential library? Are you two okay? What? Has something happened to, happened, Kyoko? It seems there was a disturbance at the preview. A disturbance? What's that supposed to mean? At the preview venue? And... Oh, he's just gonna hack it. Uh-oh. Ooh, interesting. Cutscene. Oh! It's a massacre! The child's gonna die! The child's gonna die! The child's gonna die! Oh boy! It's 
another eater. It's multiple, Arata. Do you have I? Kamishiro has put an emergency stop to the Eden service for the time being. The announcement claims illegal access by hackers is the reason behind it. Oh yeah, of course. Always conceal the truth. <laughs> the Pokemon, you know, the ghosts, the ghost Digimon that are obviously those. Like, I can understand, like, a little bit of a low-budget translation, but come on, they've been established to be eaters this entire time. Mm. But if the Bakemon manifested before so many people, they won't be able to control things so easily. Unless they just don't allow people to leave. Huh? Then that means... That girl, Enrique Shibe! What? What is... Oh. You see this? What's this about a disturbance? That the servers are down from an online attack? That's just nonsense, right? There must be victims of Eden Syndrome from all this. Why? Why hide that? Now, now, Yuko. Don't be so scared. Your tongue will freeze up and you won't be able to talk. So stop joking around. You've been taking care of my brother. That's why this... I knew it. Yuko, you go. I, 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 I have basic functionality. Not to mention your... But your outfits are basically the same, in a way. But that's why the whole time I've been... Mm-hmm. Little orphan Yuko and a minor at that. With your brother and the condition he's in, you need someone to keep looking after him. Listen to me and keep what I say a secret. It's better to stay on my good side, don't you think? If you're going to go through life with grown-ups holding your hand for you, you better play your cards right. If not, I might plumb forget to take care of your dear big brother. Oopsie. <laughs> Just kidding, right? Obviously. But seriously, without the hospital taking care of them, all those patients could start fading fast. Oh no. It would just be awful if that were to happen. People like you, Miss Ray, should be... What did I tell you about making that face? It's all good, Yuko. I think you, of you as the darling little sister I never had. And there's your brother, too, of course. He's been orphaned by our dear departed chairman as well. And so to keep me from simply forgetting anything, you mustn't access my private data anymore. Do we have an understanding? Miss Ray, answer me this. What on earth are you planning to do with the demon hackers? Well, well, you finally asked a direct question. My strategy will be very effective. <laughs> but that's a secret. Eden is, is the dreamland my father built. Keep your filth out of it. I will never surrender Eden to you. And you just walk on by. Oh, him, you're so adorable. Threatening me while trembling and almost crying so hard, wrenching I could just die. And how's the prep work coming along, Akimi? Without any mishaps, naturally. We had the desired results from the upgrade, yes? We did. We've nearly verified the theory regarding Eda behavior. Oh, gee, you're totally kicking it. And then there was that test. You knocked that one out of the park, Akimi. Yes, yes, leave it to me. I will have an optional stage ready and waiting. That day will be one that you and I will never forget. OMG, that sounds so romantic! Okay, Akimi, let's go! He looked at me! He, he looked at me like I'm the office! He saw us, didn't he? That old guy. He gave a little sign that he'd noticed us, and yet he didn't give us away. I think Suido is just insane. I don't get it! Is he against us? Or on our side? Which is it? You've got the information. Yeah, it's called Reese Heart Wrenching Diary. A library of top secret Kamishiro information. We've got a perfect copy. We'll wait to do the decrypting until we get back. That's excellent. Get out of there as soon as you can. 
With all the confusion going on now, you should be able to leave right through the front entrance. But can we leave the eaters at the preview venue? Eden servers are shut down for the time being. There shouldn't be any more victims today. I understand your desire to get rid of the eaters, but think of it. Think about it. Making contact with one would r run the risk of destroying the confidential information. Uh, roger that. Leon, let's go back to the agency. Yeah, it just seems a bit sudden that... <laughs> oh yeah, happy music! Lots of people died! Well, died, he got Eden syndromed, which at this point is a guaranteed ish death. Bleh. There was official word from Kamishiro that an eater appeared at the preview event. Multiple! It seems that Kamishiro claimed that hackers with malicious intent interrupted the preview. But wouldn't that do even more damage to Kamishiro than, oh, there was a super bug that did this? Rather than, oh, you know, our security was so shit that hackers got in and did physical damage to people in the digital world of Eden. And also, Yuko was just allowed to walk right out of there. Neat. The press is in an uproar, reporting that hackers caused some of the participants to develop Eden Syndrome. Oh, come on! They've got to be kidding! Blaming anything bad that happens to them on hackers! To the general public, hackers are nothing more than outlaws, and they're demanding that scapegoats be brought forth. Put it this way. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. Nokia's gonna be the scapegoat. Nokia's rebels are gonna be the scapegoat. Nokia was making a hacker team to fight other hackers and save Digimon, and because they're an up-and-coming, decent, okay hacker group, but not good enough to survive, they're gonna be taken in by Kamishiro and the police and are just gonna be had. Oh, I, I see that Chekhov's gun. But this way, hackers reap what they sow. Pardon me if that sounds a bit harsh. Still, this brouhaha might make it easier for you to all slip in unnoticed. Suido saw what we were doing, but he didn't say anything. Why? It doesn't make sense. Interesting. The reason why might be in here. This is what we found in the secret room. Ray's heart-wrenching diary, as I expected to library of top-secret Kamishiro information. It was encoded with advanced encryption, but I finally decoded it just a short while ago. And what was inside? The Paradise Lost Plan. Keikuku. <laughs> yes, have you heard of it? I haven't. Well, this is the first I've heard of it. It seems that Kamishiro is controlling the digital waves to execute some large-scale plan. Called it! So those digital shifts that keep happening lately are being caused intentionally by Kamishiro. I mean, Suido basically told us point blank that they were being controlled. So, I... Could Suido be working against the Kamishiro organization for his own means? I mean, he was part of the Nile Corporation, which was illegally acquired by Kamishiro. So it's possible, but would that also mean that the Nile Corporation was acquired illegally under Yuko's dad? Hmm. It's possible, I don't know, there's lots that could be going on. We'll continue. It might be slightly misleading to say that. Kamishiro's goal is for the Paradise Lost Plan to succeed. The digital shifts are simply a side effect of that. The upcoming large-scale update to Eden is a part of that plan, it seems. Okay, but just what is the Paradise Lost Plan? A reference to uh, classic literature. Yes, well, unfortunately, the documentation doesn't describe the plan itself at all. That said, what is included, and this is very interesting, is the name of the individual responsible for developing the plan. The person responsible? Who the heck is it? Cut to the suspense and tell us. Yugo? Is it Yugo? Suido? Suido. Knew it. See what? That old guy? And there was one other interesting piece of information in there. It's about the first victim of Eden Syndrome. Either Yugo or... Yugo and Yuko's father, I'd say. There was a closed beta test run eight years ago before the Eden's Harbor Space was opened to the public. During the test, there was an accident brought about due to unforeseen errors. One of the individuals involved never regained consciousness and became the first Eden Syndrome patient. I'm going to assume it's going to be Yugo, because then it'll be tie into the, ooh, the pale boy ghost of Eden. The first victim. Who was it? That is a topic for our next investigation. I can't believe it. They've been running Eden all this time, hiding this information when there have been victims going back eight years? It's what makes big companies so scary, their refusal to stop for something so trivial. 
That's why this intel is so valuable. We've got to share it with Detective Matayoshi. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, you've really gained something this time. Um, excuse me. Was there no information on my father, Satoru Kamashiro? No, at the very least, there wasn't anything in the data that was brought back. There was nothing that looked like that in there. The only other stuff was some trashy panties. I see. She took that well. <laughs> there was no data on your father, just panties. Thanks for your help, though. Please, excuse me. Hey, hang on a sec. I might not be able to help anymore. Hmm, seems like there's something on her mind. Hey, Neon, go after her and see if you can talk to her. You heard her, right? Her brother has Eden Syndrome. Someone might be blackmailing her to keep her mouth shut. And then to have Eden, her father's dream hijacked by the, that Kishibe woman. Your body being in the state of sin gives you a stake in all this, too. I'm not in a position to comfort or encourage her. But you, you're good at that, yeah? Go on, then. I revised my opinion of you, little kid. You value your friends more than I thought. Don't damn me with your faint praise, woman. All right, then. But perhaps active encouragement is better than verbal. I've got a new coffee idea. Torture errata with the coffee. This is special. Oyster sauce for extra punch, or maybe you preferred apple cider vinegar. What? Torture for errata. Torture for errata. Neon, what is it? Was there something else? I'm, I'm an awkward protagonist. Did you come after me because you were worried about me? We are friends. Thank you very much. Can I ask you something? Do you want to return to your original body? Yeah, because... Mainly because I don't know how long this digital body might last. At least my physical body would uh, hold some level of uh, permanence. I see. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Why am I asking you something so obvious? My hesitation has gone away. I'm gonna try and do what I obviously should be doing. I must be going. Goodbye. Is that why Yugo is still the way he is? Obviously, the first Eden Syndrome victim. Because he likes being a cyber ghost. <laughs> oh god! My throat! Oh no, he's, is this how it all ends? I love that it specifically said Arata's death cry. He deserved it. Hilarious. Ah, so this will be an in intro to chapter 10. Or will it? Will it? I haven't picked up a case lately. Nope. We're still in chapter... That was just the story bit. Ah, yes. We have so many cases. All of them related to property. I guess... Well, I guess... I guess... Hmm... Decisions, decisions. Because I could walk around, try to find, like, another, like, obviously there has to be a big quest that I can do. A big case that I can just go find. I'm going to look for a big case to start. And then we will end it, because we've been going for a decent amount of time. Check over here, make sure there isn't anybody. Yeah, we'll go look for any cases that we can take in here and the various other places. And once we start it, or I get, oh, we, we can find it, and then I'll save in front of them. Perfect. And, yeah, we'll just do that, and then we'll end. Because we've been going for a decent bit. We did lots of story. This is the Tokiaki guy being Tokiaki. Let us find... We can sell our Digi Metals. We'll have our many we have. That's 100 yen more than usual. Guess we can check in here. Oh, hey! It probably won't be much. It'll probably just be another money run for him. Find me a side job again. But uh, we will end the game here because we've been going for nearly three hours. And yeah! Still loving this game. The occasional grammar thing is still my pet peeve, my berserk button. But, yeah, with added context that it was kind of a string budget, a shoestring budget, and despite that low budget, they went out of the park and hit it, and it's just like, see, Digimon games can still be good. 
I can't, like, I, I, overall, the game is still really good. The story's really good. The characters are really good. It's still funny. The game system itself with combat and evolution is real nice. But the grammar, the grammar, man, it, it just kills me. But, yeah, overall, this game, utterly fantastic. It's weaving an interesting story that's oddly relevant in a way. Well, I guess relevant and just has to deal with digital VR workspaces and living life that way. And the various ideas of, like, if we kind of make it fantastical, what kind of oddities would happen? If we can transmit our brains into VR spaces and digital worlds... Would our mental state remain there as our body remains comatose? Or would it... <laughs> kind of reminds me of Chaotic, to be honest. Where you could send your... Only for Chaotic, instead of your body becoming kind of comatose and being knocked out, which seems to be implied by Eden Syndrome. It's kind of like, oh, your body goes to sleep. You go into the digital world and then if you don't wake up, Kind of reminds me of Chaotic, because you would be able to send a mental, digital, like, data copy of your personality into the world of Chaotic to both explore the actual world of the monsters as well as the digital game world. But if you're... And then they... I, I don't know if they ever explored the idea of what happens if your body dies in the real world and you're stuck in the digital world as a data copy. Or, uh, but I do know they explored the possibility of being trapped. Well, not trapped. Well, I guess trapped. Where if things happen and your, like, physical body and your mental data copy can't reconvene, at least in one episode. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Like, the various different ways of how would you transmit your mind into a digital space? Would body continue to go about it it's on its own way? Or would your body, like, commit all its mental faculties into the digital thing, and then if, like, your body gets stolen, would a digital copy remain? It's, like, various little oddities like that. Gotta love the fantastical. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. That will be it for now. If you want more from me, I have a archive channel on YouTube, Neon Icy Games, where you can go and watch various other games that I have played, like Mass Effects 1 through 3, with Mass Effect 3 currently being uploaded, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Undertale, just various games I've streamed that are immortalized on YouTube. And then if you're one of those people that are watching the archives right now, you can catch me playing these games live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. And then if you want even more from me, such as the darling little avatar in the bottom corner, you can catch me sometimes throwing art onto Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you dudes next time. Bye, bye.